Hey guys, Kevin here, and as you can see I'm in a different venue. I'm over at my parents' house watching the dogs for the week. Um, what I'd like to do in this video is talk about the PS2 port. This is a legacy port. It's a port that was used pretty much all the way through the 90s, and there's two different kinds. You can get it for your mouse, you can get it for your keyboard. And the keyboard was purple, and the green one was mouse. Now, to give you a kind of short history, um, the first kind of proper computer that I bought, I mean, I had the Commodore 64 and that when I was younger, but first proper PC that I bought was in 1996. I bought it for my first year of university. And back then, you know, you plugged in your mouse and you plug, plugged in your keyboard using the PS2 port. Fast forward a few years and, you know, when USB started becoming popular, then people started using USB ports because USB had a lot of benefits fast transfer rates, um, and it was plug and play, you know, the, the, the thing about um, these PS2 ports, the six pins, is that you couldn't just plug and play. If you took it out, you then had to, you know, like restart the computer and things like that. Um, I'm just looking at the Wikipedia page and it says it was designed in 1987. Now, the reason I'm bringing all this up is because um, I've started looking at computers again, and, you know, I, I kind of built my own PCs for about 10 years, but I've not did it for another 10 years. And um, I was really surprised that the PS2 port is still being used. It's still in most computers. Most motherboards still offer a PS2 port. Some only offer one, some offer two. Um, now, there are some newer computers, some newer, uh, some brands that aren't offering this. Um, I, I looked, for example, I looked at the Dell Inspiring Alienware PCs just out of curiosity, and they don't offer the PS2 ports. But most of the, the motherboards... Um, PCPartPicker.com, the UK version. I was looking at a lot of the motherboards, and some of the top-end motherboards that you know, 512 gigabyte RAM and things like that, um, maximum RAM, really, really high-end, expensive motherboards, and they still offer the PS2 port. Now, if you're involved in computers, you probably know why. You probably know why, but I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I was out to look for a long time, so um, for the benefit of those who are kind of in the out of the loop, just like myself. I looked into this issue. Now, apparently the PS2 port is still being used for a number of reasons. It's very popular with gamers. Apparently, for gamers, you get less issues with um, using a PS2 mouse. Um, you get lower latency, apparently, just because of the way that USB works, um, you get lower latency. It's been used in a lot of other situations as well. From a kind of a repair point of view as well, there'll be lots of times where if you're trying to repair repair a computer uh, and for whatever reason there's a problem with drivers, the USB drives aren't working or anything like that, then if you can't connect a keyboard using USB then you're stumped and you know this is where the PS2 uh, keyboard and mouse comes in because the, the PS2 um, form factor it, it just it always works, pretty much always works. If it doesn't work then it's probably it's probably the keyboard or the mouse is not working, it's not the, the actual uh, connection. It's very different to USB where, you know, there's so many different things that can go wrong with USB. So a lot of, you know, in um, kind of repairs and things like that, it's very useful to have a PS2 port because if you can't connect to your, your desktop, you know, a BIOS problem, anything like that, you could plug in a, a PS2 port, a uh, powered keyboard, and you could start, um, you know, typing where you couldn't do it with a USB, um, a US, USB connection, sorry. Now, there's lots of other ones, uh, lots of other reasons as well. I was looking on Wikipedia and it causes fewer problems with KVM switching. Um, apparently, it's very popular in the corporate world. Now, you've, I've, I've seen a lot of this recently. I've seen lots of stories where they have like the death USB drive, where you plug in a USB drive to a computer and it just eliminates everything. It fries everything, destroys everything, and it's a bastard move to do. Um, but there's people out there who maybe get kicks out of this but from a corporate point of view you don't want data to be you know destroyed so easily so in the corporate world it pays to use the mouse and keyboard using that and then you can lock the USB drives and then you know once you've logged in you know and you've typed in your password using the the, the keyboard then you can then access the USB drive so from a security point of view there are benefits to using the PS2 uh, interface um, and there's lots of other ones as well. Saves power, more reliable. Um, yeah, there's a, I'll, I'll link to the Wikipedia page that explains that. But 
I'm, I'm, I'm very curious, curious and very interested in maybe building them on PC again. It's, I, I did it for a long time and then I stopped. I was traveling, just laptops seemed uh, simpler for the way that, you know, the way that I was using computers. But um, yeah, it, if you are, if you have a desktop PC, a mini PC, um, then there's a good chance you've got a PS2 port on the back. It'll be purple or green. And the, you know, the reason is this is still kicking around is because quite frankly, they've not replaced it with anything that is, that is as reliable as that. So until it is replaced by something better, something that is more reliable, something that is, you know, safer and things like that, then I imagine we're going to see the PS2 port still being included in motherboards for um, quite a while. I mean, it's 30 years old and it's still kicking, so fair play to the PS2 port. It's, it's uh, alive and kicking. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, please do leave a comment below, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. This is just a, I found this out myself, so I thought I would share it with you all. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.